Hello again. Uh, now we're going to continue our uh, discussion on, on the lambda calculus. And uh, in the previous lecture, we were talking about uh, substitution, substitution, or what has been referred to as uh, uh, beta conversion. Uh, when we are um, doing function application, we're basically trying to uh, simplify uh, lambda expressions. So, and we just went over this uh, example here. Now, uh, it's important to note that when we are applying beta conversion, we have two options. We can pass the arguments by value or we can pass them by name. So let's take an example here. If we're passing by value and we have this uh, lambda abstraction here, a lambda x a star xx, so it's a function that uh, uh, puts uh, the argument into the power of uh, in, uh, to the power of two, x times x, and then it has the argument here which is an expression, plus 2, 3. Now, if we do this by value, it basically means that we evaluate the expression first. So the evaluation of plus 2, 3 gives us 5. And we send the 5 as an argument to the uh, lambda abstraction or to the function. And remember what we do. We remove the lambda. We drop the lambda term. And every everywhere where we have uh, x, the formal parameter, we substitute it with the value of the argument, which is 5. And so that's why we get uh, times 5, 5, which is uh, 25. So this is passed by value. So this is uh, very similar to what we do in, uh, in uh, conventional programming uh, languages, uh, where we're passing uh, arguments by value. Now, pass by name is another uh, method used in uh, functional programming. Uh, it has actually a number of uh, synonyms, so pass by name or delayed evaluation or automatic eva evaluation or even normal order. Um, probably the, 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 the term that is uh, uh, the most intuitive is uh, the delayed evaluation, because we are delaying the evaluation until very late. So in our example here, when we have the argument, uh, the expression plus 2, 3, we do not evaluate the argument, but we send the expression as a whole as, a, a, as an argument. So when we drop the lambda term and uh, substitute the formal parameter x with the value of the argument, we get times, and then the first x here becomes the expression plus 2, 3, and the second term, the sec second x, becomes also plus 2, 3. So we're sending the whole expression as an argument without evaluate, evaluating it first. And we don't evaluate it until as late as possible. So in this case, when we are uh, applying the multiplication function, we have two arguments, two expressions, and it's at that time we really need to evaluate the expression. So finally we get um, star 5, 5. So because plus 2, 3 is of, of course 5. Uh, notice that we get the same result here, but the, uh, the difference is in when do we evaluate the argument. So the first one is passed by value, and the second one is passed by name, or delayed evaluation. So the, the term passed by name here is because we, we're really substituting the text, so we're, we're substituting the argument, the formal parameter I mean, with the text itself. The text says plus 2, 3, so the value of the formal parameter comes plus 2, 3 and we delay the evaluation. We evaluate the argument uh, very late. Now, 
we saw in this previous example that we actually got the same result uh, using pass by value or pass by name. But that's not always the case. It is possible that the order of the beta conversion can affect the result. So how can this happen? Well, if you consider this expression here, we have a lambda uh, abstraction or a function defi definition, lambda x, x, x. And then we pass it uh, an argument which is exactly the same as the abstraction itself. So we're sending a function definition to the f uh, as a parameter to the function itself, and that's that's possible. Remember, we talked about that. This is the this is a lambda calculus, which is a calculus for functions. And uh, we are able to send functions as parameter and return function as results. That's, that's generally the case for functional programming. So what uh, does the substitution now give us? Well, if we drop the lambda term and we put the argument uh, instead of the formal parameter, then for this x, we get the argument lambda x x x and for the second x we get the, the same argument sorry the same uh, expression lambda x dot x x so you can see if we do the substitution we actually get exactly the same result back so that means we basically have infinite loop here because if we do the substitution over and over again we always get the same results back now however if we use this expression as an argument for a function like this, which is kind of a, like a constant function, meaning that it says lambda y2. So uh, the value of this uh, lambda abstraction is independent of the value of the formal parameter. It, it's, a, it's a constant function, meaning it, it just restores returns always the value 2, no matter what the value of the argument is. Now, if we send this expression um, as an argument into the function without evaluating the expression first, so here we're doing delayed evaluation or pass by name, then the result is, is uh, 2. We get the value 2 here. Because the expression, the lambda expression, does not depend on the value of the argument. But if we were doing this um, call by value, then the result will be undefined because we really would have some kind of an infinite loop here. So this is one example of where there is, there can be uh, different results depending on whether we're doing call by value or called by name. Now, uh, if we compare uh, briefly uh, lambda calculus with uh, functional languages, let's take an example here from ML. This is a function definition in ML. So we have the keyword fun, meaning function, the name of the function, which is called twice here, and the two arguments f and x. Then we have an equal sign and then we have the body of the function which in this case simply does f of f of x. So what is it really doing? Well it's applying the function f twice to it the second argument. So the first argument to the twice function is a function. The second argument to the twice function is a uh, uh, is a value uh, denoted by this uh, parameter x and the body of the function says f of f of x so if I would call in ml uh, twice with the va uh, with the argument square and 3 then square would be my f and 3 would, would be my x then I would be doing square of square of x and assuming the square puts its value into uh, uh, yeah, just the square of the value, 
uh, the value to the power of 2, then I would get uh, 3 square, which is 9, and then 9 square, which is 81. So how would I write this in lambda calculus? Well, square, the function square in lambda calculus is simply lambda y dot uh, star y y. So this is a lambda abstraction or a function definition that given a, a, a value for the formal parameter y, it does star y y. So it's basically squaring the formal parameter. Now twice in lambda calculus would be written like this. Uh, so notice that I have two lambdas here. So in the, the innermost lambda has uh, lambda x dot f uh, and then open paren f of x, closing paren. So this is, uh, this is uh, uh, a lambda, abstraps, uh, lambda abstraction that given a value for this formal parameter x, it will apply f twice to this uh, formal parameter x. But then on, in, the, on the, outer, in the outer term, I need to supply what is, the, what is the value for the function itself. So the first formal parameter is the function, the second uh, parameter is the, is the value itself. So what I'm basically saying here is that if I need two parameters, then I implement that by having two lambdas. That's what we really what we are saying here. Now, how would I then do twice square of three as we did here earlier? Twice square of three is eighty-one. Well, twice we saw here. Twice is the one that starts uh, with the blue paran here and closes over here. Square is the one that comes after uh, lambda y dot star y y and uh, that's the one that um, we have a red paran that opens here and then a red parenthesis that closes at the very end here. So inside the red parens, we have twice square. And then three is an argument to the whole thing. And that's how we get twice square three. Now, we need to simplify this expression. We need to do a beta conversion. So, what do we need to do? Well, I said earlier that if you look at the where the red paren uh, opens and the red paren closes, we can see that on the left hand side we have a lambda abstraction or function definition, and on the on the right hand side we also have another lambda abstraction. But it's always the case that the second lambda, uh, lambda abstraction, uh, or, or in general, when you have uh, a lamp, uh, uh, an expression in lambda calculus. The first one is the function and the second one is the argument. The first term is the function, the second term is the argument. So what we're doing here, we're sending the square function as an argument to the twice function. So if we do that, we drop the lambda f here. That's the first thing we're, that we're doing. We drop the lambda f and instead of the formal parameter f, which appears here twice, we put the value of the formal parameter. And what is the formal parameter? The formal parameter is actually a function definition. So instead of this f, we put lambda y dot star y y. So that's why we get here first lambda x, then lambda i dot star y y. That's the first f here. Then there's a parenthesis that opens, and then we put f again. And again, that's lambda y dot star y y. And then we uh, close uh, 
uh, two parentheses and then we get our x here which comes here and uh, notice that we drop the the blue uh, the blue paren because when we drop the lambda we drop the parentheses as well so we get the light blue one and then we get the red parenthesis and three and so on so we just what we did just did we uh, instead of the formal parameter f we put the function definition for for square instead that's both for the first f and for the second f and so our uh, expression looks like this after the first step now uh, in the second step here what I'm doing I'm basically just removing unnecessary parentheses notice the red paren here and which opens up here and closes at the end here I'm just removing re removing removing it and that's how I get this uh, third line now I need to figure out what uh, what what is the argument to which function and uh, notice that uh, the light blue one opens up here and closes at the very end so the, if you look at it, the whole expression inside the parenthesis is one function, one lambda, lambda abstraction, and then sending three as a parameter to it. So I send three as a parameter to that. That means I'm dropping the lambda x. So I'm just starting with the lambda y. The green one comes here, and then I start with the lambda y. Everything becomes unchanged until I hit this x here, which is the formal parameter this x is bound by this lambda and I substitute that one with 3 now in the next step uh, I just remove the green parenthesis here I'm not changing the value of the expression by doing it I'm just simplifying it and then I can see here that this 3 must be an argument to this function definition here which is the square function so I'm sending 3 into the function that means I drop the lambda uh, and inst and uh, substitute the value of the formal parameters with the value 3 so 3 uh, is the value for the formal parameter y so I get star 3 3 star 3 3 here and I drop the lambda then I have double parentheses here which I'm removing and uh, not changing anything in the in the next step and then I just uh, evaluate this expression star 3 3 is just uh, 3 times 3 which is 9 and then we have a finally we have a function definition here and we're sending the the value uh, 9 as an argument to the function what do we do we drop the lambda term and uh, instead of the formal parameter y we put the value of the argument which is 9 so we get times 9 9 which is 81 so this was uh, how we got the uh, how we simplified the twice function and uh, we saw that I mean in, in ML we if we would have evaluated this in, M in the functional programming language ML we would have set twice square 3 and the result would have been 81 and in lambda calculus we did it uh, with two lambdas because we had two arguments that means we had two uh, lambdas and we went through this uh, exercise of uh, uh, simplifying the lambda expression and the result that we got was actually 81 which is of course the same as we have would have gotten uh, using uh, the functional programming language ML